I'm in survival mode. I have, I'm trying to get my basic needs met. I barely have running water. I have no hot water. I live in a FEMA trailer. This is not my choice. You know, it's been four years. Um, I had insurance. I was covered. I had my contingency. I had my plan B. Well, I don't understand what the problem is. It doesn't make any sense why the reality of our life doesn't look like the funding that has come through. And if FEMA takes their trailer, well, I mean, I have no, <laughs> that means I go back to live in my house. The house is full of mold and collapsing. It's literally unsafe to be in to begin with, but apparently that's what the government wants me to do, move back into it. 2020 and 2021 were very rough years for the city of Lake Charles. We had four federally declared natural disasters over a 10 month span, which is more than any other city in American history. Uh, so for us to have come from some of those really dark days and to be where we are today is, is pretty miraculous in my opinion. The city of Lake Charles has done everything humanly possible to help people. Storm after storm have come this way, you know, Tower City. And uh, each storm bring damage. This last storm just really tore my house up. My plumbing is unrepairable right now. We have to bring water in the home through buckets to bathe, to wash the dishes. Sometimes I, 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 I be so down till I just feel like giving up. We are people. We are citizens of the richest and the most prestige country in the world. Nobody should be living like this.